A beloved business owner is back behind the counter tonight after a brutal assault. Ray Alvarez is his name. He's the owner of Ray's Candy Store and was attacked just outside his shop. Sharon Crowley spoke to Ray. She joins us live tonight with his reaction as the search for the person who did this continues. Sharon. Yeah, Ray is a very well-known person in this community here in the East Village. We're live outside his candy store where he told me right about where I'm standing. He was attacked. Police are still looking for a suspect, and the assault has many people very concerned. 90-year-old Raymond Ray Alvarez is back behind the counter at Ray's Candy Store in the East Village, even though he's still recovering from a black eye and a bruised jaw. Ray says Tuesday, while he was standing outside in front of his beloved business, two strangers approached. One of the men hit him, knocking him to the ground. He came out with a, something like a belt with a stone on the one end, and he hit me. I went down bleeding. New York City police are now looking for this man seen pushing a grocery cart in this neighborhood. He's wanted for questioning in connection with the assault. I feel good. I, I just cannot eat. I cannot uh, chew anything. <laughs> yeah. And my jaw, maybe, I don't know, broken or something. Have you been to the doctor? No. Ray is still refusing medical care, but he's up and around again, as you can see, and his loyal customers are steadily coming by to express their concern. Ray is the nicest guy in 90 years old. It's awful. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. I'm glad he's okay. Anybody that would victimize somebody like Ray is probably not in their right mind. I like the ice cream. I like the candy. I like children. I like people. That was Ray when we first met him back in November, when residents in this East Village community raised money for him when his business was in jeopardy of closing. Born in Iran, Ray became a U.S. citizen when Ronald Reagan was president. He opened this small candy store on Avenue A in the 1970s, and he's been going strong ever since. It's not just the specialty items like egg creams and fried Oreos that keep his customers coming back, but Ray himself who's just as sweet. Hello, I love you. How are you doing? I love you too. Okay. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to hear about what happened. <laughs> so I have some really good news to tell you. Just in the last couple of minutes, a nurse who saw our stories and social media postings about what happened to Ray came here and got Ray in an Uber and is taking him to a medical facility for some testing and a CAT scan and other tests to make sure that he's going to be okay. Of course, this happened on Tuesday. You heard him tell me this afternoon he hadn't been to the doctor yet, and he was complaining a little bit of dizziness. So, you know, there's still goodness out there. People see our stories and see things on social media, and the nurse came here to help him and help him get some help. So we're wishing him well tonight.